or your open houses. So the first thing you want to do is actually check out what your competition is doing. So just go to your favorite search portal. I just went to Zillow. You can go down to open houses. Every search portal, including the MLS, has some sort of function to find open houses in your area. Just take note of the ones in your area, jot down the addresses on pen and paper so you know where you're going that weekend. You wanna go check out the ones on the weekend. Don't check out these ones during the day, especially one that's like an all day event, eight to 7.30. Come on, that's not real, or it's just an open door listing, or it's a new home uh, construction, and those aren't what you're looking at. This is new home construction. You want the ones that are just occurring Saturday and Sunday. So here's one on Sunday, here's one on Saturday. So take note of them and then go to them. What does the home smell like? How did you sign in? What are their signage look like? What's the person wearing? What do they say to you? Just take note what's going on. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and order some signs. Now, if you're part of a big brokerage like eXp, chances are there's some sort of sign discount. So in our case, if we go to our workplace group, you can join a group called Build a Sign. Once you've joined the group, just look at the pin post and you're gonna have um, some stuff in here. For example, if you're a new agent, there's a new agent starter kit right here you can order. Um, but if you want to get signs, just click this and it's going to take you straight to our templates uh, and you can see signs here. So let's say you want some signs. We want directional signs. Okay. So these are called directional signs and we want the ones that say open house, although you can change this word to say open house from for sale. In fact, I think you have to do that now. They used to have them separated, but now I think they all say for sale. You just grab whichever one you want and you're just going to change the words on it. Like I like this, this directional one. It looks like a big arrow. You can have it say open house. You can have your phone number on it. Um, and then you can buy them. And when you buy them, what you want is corrugated plastic. Sometimes you'll click on something. You'll have options for material. Just get corrugated plastic. And the more you buy, the cheaper they get. Uh, this it doesn't have our discount code included for whatever reason. So make sure you check the pinned post for our discount code. Here's our discount code. Um, at this time of the making of the video. Um, the other place I like to look at signs is a place called Oakley Sign Company. Um, same thing, if you go to Oakley Sign and Graphics, you can, learn, learn, you can search for directional signs and find the ones that are branded to your brokerage. I like this particular company because they have a lot of these arrow options. They have ones with uh, a spot for a picture and I think it looks great to just brand yourself extra with your picture, your name, your phone number, even your website. And you can see as you buy more, they go down in price as well. I recommend go ahead and getting 25 because that's going to be enough to where you can put multiple signs, the large intersections. And you'll notice that when you're going and checking out the other open houses, kind of get an idea of how many signs they're putting out. And you want to look better than everybody. So don't do what everyone else is doing. Go above what they're doing. You can get balloons on your signs. You might notice that. The other thing you might notice are what are called feather flags, things like this. Now, I've been searching for the cheapest place to find feather flags, and I think this is the best place. It's called dsign.com, and you'll notice they're actually fairly inexpensive. They go down to $55, although no one's going to buy 100 of them, but you might buy three of them, $65 each, or just one for $78, or get with another friend that's at the brokerage and um, because they, they can have them branded to the brokerage, but not your name. Maybe split a 25 pack or a three pack or whatever you want to do. Uh, but these look really good in the front yard. That'll really help you stand out. Uh, the other thing you need to get are what are called stakes. And so let's see, we want some stakes, right? Sign holders, they're called stakes. And some places are cheaper than others to get them. So let's take a look at this particular site. Here's a, a basic stake. Uh, four millimeter, it's a pretty little stake. Uh, this one looks like it's a little more strong and this one looks pretty strong too, but let's look at these cheap ones. If you don't live in an area with hard ground, you can get away with cheap stakes. Uh, if you live in somewhere with hard ground, uh, you want to get some premium stakes. So, you know, just do a little price checking. So for example, this site versus this site, okay? So we want some sign holders, some stakes. Let's look at the price difference here. So here we have wire stakes for 250 for one, whereas here it's 750 for one. Uh, and it probably even goes down and more if you buy them in quantity. Yeah, look at that. If you get 25, they're only a dollar each. Um, so you probably don't want to get your science stakes from this site. You want to get it from this site. Um, you know, do a little math on it. And even if you look at the premium stakes, so let's see, premium stakes, like these guys right here, these are good if you have really hard ground, if you're in a dry area. You're going to need some premium stakes. And let's see if you compare that to 
Um, these stakes look like the same type of stake. Again, this particular site happened to be a lot cheaper. Um, so just buy from whoever's cheapest, get the signs you want. This is where your business comes into play. How do you want your signs to look? How do you want your open house to look? Um, good luck and happy hosting.